Oh, hey, it's you. I'm Sal, your friend. We have just successfully finished our first season on my other channel, Salvidora. Now that it's all wrapped up, we prepared something new. This time, it's about you. We're gonna be talking about anything under the sun. Love, dating, relationships, spirituality. So I hope you join me in my new set, my other channel, and I'll see you there. Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. It's my party and I cry if I want to. Are you in the meetup? Because if you are not, I'd be crying if I want to. Oh, okay. Pisces. Check it there. I want to see everybody. Mm -hmm. I told the Scorpio, if you have kids, drop the kids. And chances are, never see them again. The little cute ones, okay? I choose which one is your favorite and then pick it up, pick it up again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We love babies. Babies are cute. <laughs> I, have a, <laughs> I have niece, nephew, and cousins. They're all cute. That's why I maintain them as a niece and nephew and never mind. <laughs> and cousins, never mind. Okay. Because for me, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind with the kids. <laughs> all right. So let's see here for the Pisces. Um, these are your dailies. Uh, let's see what's up with you guys. Mm -hmm. These are very, 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 very exciting energy right now. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling... I don't even worry about this whole retrograde, okay? It's at least of our worries. <laughs> it's just three weeks, seriously. And then Mercury right now is like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> So just make sure that your decisions, you know, Mercury rules our choices um, at this time. So just be w weary, weary about it. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, guys. For my Pisces. You got a Knight of Cups. All right, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's a hello, okay. Knight of Cups. See, sometimes I'm annoyed with the Knight of Cups. Sometimes they're good. You know, today they're good. <laughs> so it's a freaking night. I don't know, but someone's going to say, hello, hi. And you're like, oh my God, he texted. She messaged. Knight of Cups, you're happy, you're excited. Remember, this is the only night that looks for a soul connection. The, uh, the Knight of Wands look for a crutch connection. The Knight of Pentacles, forget about any kind of connection. It's not going to move. Okay. The Knight of Swords, I don't know what it wants. Because okay? it's always it's about accusing you. Okay. So this one, there's a cup. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to be reaching out to you. Um, of course, it's known as younger energy as a knight. Um, this energy, I feel... I feel like it's just catching up or saying sorry. I feel like this person just wants to um, extend themselves and clear. This It's about, um, how to say this? Like, let's just say, if you have a kid, right? So, you know, it's like, when your kid is saying, it's like, I'm sorry, mom. You know, it's like, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mom, I failed five subjects. What? <laughs> there. So it's a it's like a term of sorry and it's like it's okay and then when they release the bombshell over there it's just like what there you go knight of cups so, <laughs> so there is a catch that's like it's cute ten of pentacles 
Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. Pentacles, Pentacles, and Pentacles. We all need stability. We know when the bank account is negative, chances are our life is chaos. Okay? But here, um, family is good, health is good, and then someone is reaching out to you, messaging you with a ten of pe with, uh, with, in loving message. I feel like this person wants to have some sort of secureness in the connection. This is a bridge over troubled water. You know, that's that bridge over there. You've come across to so many things right now in life. And finally, you're re receiving um, this, uh, um, I feel like, financial support and security. Um, others, um, someone will be getting already their um, either alimony or what do you call that when someone died? I mean, they, they died a long time. Okay, I, I don't predict that. Um, like your funds, either your trust fund or something like that. It's already open. The money is yours. But I forgot what it's called. But normally it's like lineage, okay, money of legacy. I, f I really forgot what it's called um, when someone, you know, when gives the money. But someone is going to give you that money who has left already, okay. Again, I don't predict death. The person has already passed a long time, okay. You're just getting the money. I see the money. I predict money, okay. <laughs> Let me see my teleprompter. Inheritance, okay. So I have teleprompter. Inheritance. Okay, so you will be getting your inheritance because this is completion. Okay, make sure you're in the meetup if you get the inheritance. Okay, fly. Okay, take the first flight out. You know, even though it's third week of November, you're already in LA three weeks before. Okay, <laughs> we are paid a panic, page of panic. So definitely, this is the I sorry. I sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, I feel like this this message comes. You know, this is a gift. You might receive a gift from this person. It makes you feel good that this person has finally realized their mistake. Okay. Um, this is about seeing your value. Pages are messengers, so um, you know it's like they they do try to research before they message you. So they have figured already how to express it. Okay. Interesting. Loving this. Loving this. Okay. The emperor. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy, Pisces? Who's your daddy? Because daddy's home. Okay. Emperor. Someone here is very secure. Mm. Financially supportive. Emotionally emotionally unavailable. <laughs> I'm kidding. Emotionally available. Come on, Knight of Cups. Okay. So the emperor shows here that um, someone is mature. Why is everybody being mature? I don't understand. Because okay? <laughs> the Aries and Scorpio here is like, they're telling you, I'm sorry. And it's like, can we work this out? You know, it's like, they see the potential. But where are you, though? It's interesting you're not here. Okay. Home life, again, is very focused here. Buying a home is going to be here also. And a big one. <laughs> a big home. Business-oriented. If you have a business, you're investing, it's going to be good. Well, well, it depends on your chart, okay? Because Mercury is in retrograde. So make sure you, 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 you check that out. Um, but the tarot is saying it's like business is going to be good. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, look at that. Healthy, wealthy, and abundant. What can you ask for more? Nothing else, Elle. I'm feeling good. Okay, that's good. I like it when Zodiac feels good. Because then my life is easy. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. I mean, look at this individual right here. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Hmm. You will be talking to this person and they will make you feel like really good. <laughs> I can't explain it any much better than you will feel good about this person. Magician, the business owner. Okay, single, what do you want? You know, uh, they already figure out how to offer connection with you. Very clear. We lay out everything on the table. That's the magician. Mm -hmm. So the magician is like a merchant also. So chances are, because there's a table, you know, selling stuff. They probably, you have, you have a merchant store, you have an online business, but this is a businessman here. Mm -hmm. Virgo, Gemini, but this is a Scorpio card. So someone is manifesting also a relationship and they're single and they're coming true. The message is like, whatever you're manifesting, it's going to come true. The sun card, I mean, come on. The sorry comes with, I'm sorry, right? Do you want to have babies now? <laughs> That's the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Someone is saying here, it's just like, I'm ready to have baby. <laughs> okay, then go get one. 
Daddy wants a baby. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you have a sugar. Mm-hmm. Daddy and you're the baby. <laughs> Just saying. We can all use one of those. Just saying. <laughs> so that I don't have to read like this every day. <laughs> Sun card with a page of going on vacation. Someone here is going to tell us, like, hey, you want to have a vacation? Let's go here. Let's go there. Um, bringing you good news. I mean, like, hello. Who is this? <laughs> Who is this also? Sun in Libra, okay. Sun in Virgo or Gemini. Business is successful. People are looking at you. You're in high spirit. Empress! <laughs> Under the emperor. I mean, Cancer and got the amazing read. Scorpio got the whole wow, okay. And then Pisces, you guys got the Bam chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> there is what, uh, there is a reading. You have to look for it. When it's you, it hits you. It's the most amazing connection because I had to use the divine feminine, divine masculine. I really use those words because I thought DM is like direct message. Legit. Okay. When people comment, it's like, so the DM is totally not talking to me. So it's like, well, you said DM and then they're not talking. <laughs> so now I know what it means. Because I don't resonate with those words. Oh, but they're telling me, like, you can use it, so. It's right here. Your counterpart. The yin to your yang. The yang to your yin. <laughs> You're going to be happy. I'm excited for you, Pisces. Whatever this day, whatever nakshatra this day is. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was like, you have nothing to worry. Daddy's here. And mommy's here. <laughs> And you're gonna get pregnant. <laughs> now, if it's not about pregnancy, it's a birth of love. Okay, because fifth house, progeny is birth of love. Okay. So what is this reading about? Being in a relationship. <laughs> okay, so manifesting and happen it's happening. Everything in your eyes. Illumination with the sun card, healed already. A gift from the divine with the page of pentacles. Mature in different. I mean, there's seven to eight cards, okay? And for the feminine and masculine energy to be here, as above, so below, it's already here. Um, your mind is going to be deciding right now pretty soon about being single in a commitment. I'm looking at the numbers, so I'm not going to explain it anymore. Okay? But the abundance that's coming to you, the wealth, the health, you know, it's all coming to you, Pisces. Amazing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be even more amazing in the extended. So it's definitely, the Scorpio had a title. It's a must watch in extended. So I'm pretty sure, you know, it's like move over Scorpio. Mine is even better than must watch. Okay, a must see. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side and also in the meetup. May you have a blessed, blessed day, Pisces. You deserve this. Bye, guys. Because they sit on the King of Swords and very logical. Okay. Yep. Person is uh, looks at you like you are the goddess. And you've walked away from it. That's why you are coming into the Nine of Cups. And you're getting it.